Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Good morning and welcome to the Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines 2023. To formally open the event, may we request the President to lead the ribbon cutting ceremony. We will begin the ribbon cutting ceremony in the count of three, Mr. President. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Livestock in Aquaculture Philippines 2023 is now officially open. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. May we request everyone to please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and invocation to be led by the National Food Authority Chorale.
We may now be seated. To begin our program, may we call on Mr. Jared Lewenberg, General Manager of the Informa Markets Philippines, to give his opening message. Thank you. <clears throat> Your Excellency, Mr. Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. It is wonderful to see you again, just a few months after you opened our Water Philippines trade show back in March. In all the many years I work as an exhibition organizer, I have never had the privilege to see and witness a president opening two of our trade shows consecutively. I think it is unique and it clearly demonstrates your strong commitment to improve those industries which provide the basic needs for the people of the Philippines, like water and food production. A warm welcome, Mr. President. Guests of honor, your excellencies, dear exhibitors, visitors, all the participants of the sixth edition of Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines. It's a great pleasure for me on behalf of Informa Markets Philippines, the organizer of this trade show, to welcome you here today. In this edition of Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines, we're expecting more than 10,000 trade visitors. These include animal nutritionists, feed millers, veterinarians, poultry and fish farmers, pig farmers, and many other industry stakeholders. And they come here to meet around 280 national and international exhibiting companies sharing three halls here in the World Trade Center, Manila, Pasay City, from today until Friday. The livestock sector is one of the priority industries in the Philippines, and it's time for industry players to really step up the game. The demand for materials, equipment, and machinery has skyrocketed with the increase of the population in the Philippines and therewith with the consumption. The poultry, meat, feed, and swine sectors must innovate and have to adapt to the latest technologies and professional services available in the global market to be able to keep up with the competition in the region. Whether it's smallholders or corporate sectors, every industry player should take steps to improve technology management, reduce waste, prevent diseases, adapt automation, and show genuine concern for the environment. Only then we can ensure a sustainable production system and a bright future for this industry. Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines is a trade event. It brings together local and international exhibitors to showcase their innovations, their services and products. This trade event provides a unique opportunity for exhibitors to connect with key industry players, decision makers, and other professionals in the industry. Alongside the exhibition, there will be a range of technical seminars, of conferences, and other content loaden activities that are designed to provide valuable insights into the latest market trends, news, research, and industry developments. Furthermore, you can expect to see other show highlights, such as the Sustainability Square, Innovation Theater, the Ag Forum hosted by the Batangas Ag Producers Cooperative, and a match and meet where trade buyers can exclusively set up meetings with suppliers in the show. With that, I would like also to take this opportunity to express my and our, as Informa Marcus, utmost appreciation to all our supporters, both from the government and non-government association partners. Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines can never be as successful as it is today without all your support and your participation. I hope you all have a rewarding and fruitful experience today and the coming days at these events. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Liebenberg.
at this juncture, may we request Senior Undersecretary Domingo Panganiban of the Department of Agriculture to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Yusek Panganiban. Uh, please uh, take your seats. Uh, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps who have uh, joined us here today, our uh, Senate Chairperson on the Committee on Agriculture for Food and Agrarian Reform, Senator Cynthia Villar, and the House Chairperson for the Committee on Agriculture and Food in the House of Representatives, uh, Congressman Mark Enverga. Aga Party List Representative, Nicanor Briones. And of course, our uh, uh, constant companion this day is uh, uh, Pasay City Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano. Of course, this is all. Uh, we could not have had any of uh, this uh, uh, occasion that we are enjoying today without the uh, organizational zeal of the Informa Markets Philippines. So we greet their general manager, Gerald Levenberg. Did I get that right? Our partners and exhibitors of the Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines 2023, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am very happy to join you uh, to preside over the opening of the Livestock Philippines International Trade Fair for Innovative Production and Processing for Poultry and Livestock. Sa pangalam pa lang, alam natin, malaki ang trabahong hinaharap na. I'm sorry, just with the name, just the title already gives us an indication of how much work it is that we need to do. We come together today for this trade fair to promote our commodities in the livestock, poultry, and related subsectors to buyers and industry players here and around the world. Through free training and other capacity building incentives, we hope to empower our farmers, our fisher folk, and other stakeholders to realize their full potential and play an integral part in building the livestock industry back up. On that note, we of course recognize the tireless work of uh, the Department of Agriculture and Informa Markets Asia in their successfully spearheading this extremely important event. It is only through cooperation such as this that we can realize our dreams of progressively expanding and modernizing the poultry and livestock industries in the Philippines. It is imperative to highlight the role of this sector in our nation's pursuit of food security and global competitiveness. The sector not only puts food on the table for millions of Filipinos, it also provides a means of livelihood for countless farmers and other ancillary service providers. We also acknowledge the urgent need to revitalize the sector considering the problems that we face, particularly the effects of African swine fever and avian influenza. With the goal of detecting and preventing the spread of these diseases, we have implemented the Integrated National Swine Production Initiatives for Recovery and Expansion, also known as the INSPIRE program. To date, more than 400 30 farmers' cooperatives and associations with more than 13,000 members and an estimated 27,500 individual farmers have benefited from this program. Relatedly, we are also happy to announce the completion of Phase 1 of the safety and efficacy trials for the ASF vaccines. The Bureau of Animal Industry has found to produce sufficient antibodies and to be safe for use, and as it stands, the, F the Philippine FDA is on track to issue a certificate of product registration for these vaccines, while phase two trials are underway. 
This gives us great hope as we have been waiting for this for a very long time. However, it is not a reason for complacency as we are being continuously warned by those who have studied the vaccine. The vaccine is 80% effective. There is still a 20% that we need to look out for very carefully. So it will be, a, I'm not, uh, do, do not get me wrong, I do not an underestimate or downgrade the importance and the big advantage that the vaccines bring us. But nonetheless, the day, the, there is still a danger and it is something that we need to look out for. We are also making progress in our procurement of avian influenza vaccines, with the BAR calling for manufacturers to register their products with the FDA, while the guidelines to administer the same are being finalized. As we identify the shortcomings and, and that, uh, that we have, and acknowledge that, they, that there is much work to do, we at the Department of Agriculture shall continue to forge partnerships with the academic and private sector to devise solutions to eradicate these diseases that continue to wreak havoc on our livestock and poultry subsectors. I also urge the cons all concerned government agencies and stakeholders to engage in productive dialogue and share our best ideas, practices, and technologies to advance our poultry and livestock industries. Rest assured that the government stands firm with you in overcoming our present challenges by implementing data and science-based policies and programs. We aim to streamline our value chain systems, ease our access to local produce, and cushion the impact of food inflation on the lives of our farmers and our consumers. And to this end, we uh, are continuing to coordinate and apply the principle of all of government to approach any challenges that are faced by any single sector or a, a multitude of sectors. We bring the entire government to bear and all the resources to bear, all the skills and all the expertise to bear so that we can be able to mitigate the problems of these that these challenges bring and to solve the problems that we need to solve. So lastly, let, we will work to find ways to increase our farmers' incomes so that they can lead a dignified and comfortable life and return to the profession a sense of pride that has been lost over the years. It is our hope to bring back nobility to a profession that has sacrificed so much to feed and to nourish us for many, many generations. Let us make the most of the knowledge and tools made available at this trade fair so that we can establish a more food secure, sustainable and resilient Philippines in the years ahead. Thank you once again for this opportunity to highlight the technologies, the new techniques and the new knowledge that is out there and now to be made available here in the Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. And now may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. May we invite on stage the government officials and senior Department of Agriculture officials. May we request the association presidents and informal markets officials to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right.
May we invite on stage the association presidents and Informa Markets officials. May we request the first set of Livestock Recognition Awardees to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we invite on stage the first set of Livestock Recognition Awardees. May we request the next set of Livestock Recognition Awardees and partners to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we invite on stage the next set of Livestock Recognition Awardees and partners. May we request the international industry delegates to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. Finally, may we invite on stage the international industry delegates. Thank you. Please exit to your left. Thank you, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. And that concludes our program. May we invite the President to the Livestock and Aquaculture Philippines 2023 exhibit. We request the members of our audience to please remain seated for the duration of this exhibit. <laughs>